Okay, we are looking at a Lutron three-way dimmer, and it can also be used as just a regular single dimmer. But we are replacing, uh, we're going to use this as the three-way control switch in a three-way switching circuit. And we have the other end of the circuit over there under the light in the corner by the door. Okay. So the 123 traveling wires are going over there and switching and then returning back to here. And what we have is on these switches here, uh, it's very confusing labeling. And so the black wire here is your common. That's the one that connects up to your power. Then over there, it says that your non-black wire is going to be a traveler so your non-black wire is going to be the red and the red connects up to the blue wire which is your uh, non-black wire so that is your traveler and then this red is going to connect to the black wire and the black traveler wire here connects up to the white common wire over at that end and you tie the black and the white together with the yellow pigtail that they include in the light switch kit and uh so it doesn't um uh, it does but it doesn't uh transmit 120 volts through the traveler wires um uh, it's got a control signal that is going through there and that control signal is what is telling this main switch what to do. So uh, there is still uh, the 120 volts over there, but it's not uh, purely just a 120 volt circuit traveling back and forth on the two wires. So this is what we have over here is your orange red wire is still the traveler or your non-black wire as they like to call it and then this white wire is the common wire that uh, returns power to your light fixture or whatever this outlet or switch fixture you're trying to control is but anyway the other traveler wire connects with the common wire and then you have this yellow pigtail that goes to the common terminal. And so you've got this other three-way terminal here for the second traveler that is not used because the other traveler is now connected to the common wire. Okay, so it's kind of a confusing thing. A lot of people, they try to hook these up and they kind of get confused and frustrated with it. So that is how this switch works. It's uh, uh, sending a signal through the wire. And so you need to be able to um, uh, convert the three-way, the standard three-way wiring into this wiring so that the signal can be transmitted back and forth between the two switches. And, you know, obviously this here is just either on or off. And so you can see there's off, there's on. Okay. So let's go back over to the other side. Okay, so that is what happens. You've got your powers coming into the switch, and then it is going between the, uh, uh, you've got the one traveler wire here, and that is, I guess, telling the switch whether it's uh, on or off. And then you have the common or the second traveler, which connects up to the red wire on this switch. 
So it's kind of a confusing thing, but I um, think that this red wire is like your signal wire, and this wire is the wire that is actually carrying the 120 volts uh, over to the common. So basically what happens is you are connecting this up to one terminal of the switch, and this is connected to the other terminal of the switch. And basically it's um, uh, sending the power for the light circuit over this wire. And it uh, doesn't necessarily go into that switch. It just is connected to the common wire over there. And... It just automatically is sending the wire back over to the light fixture. So here's your control signal. Here is your other black traveler coming in. And here is your common wire. So um, this wire here is telling the system whether it's on or off. And these two wires together uh, it's just the other traveler but it's being used as the main power circuit now it comes over here and connects up to the common so it just comes in and right back out doesn't even bother with the switch and the yellow wire is basically completes the circuit for the red wire and so there is a uh, s communication between the two switches with the red wire okay so it's kind of a confusing setup uh, if you're used to doing a regular 12-3 it uh, it's going to be confusing for you but after you set one of these up uh, then then you see what's going on and it uh, it's much easier to do then also if you have a uh, four-way switch in the system, you uh, only connect one of the wires, um, and the uh, uh, the other two wires just go through the switch. Now, maybe I'm maybe I'm getting ahead of myself on that one. There, let's see. Yeah, it may, this system may not work with a four-way switch, but they have, I think it's the Maestro system that will do a four-way switch. So, all right, well, that takes care of this. That is the Lutron Sonata switch. Okay. All right, I'm going to get back to work.